When you look at Earth and you see all the waters and different names for every sea and ocean, and then you think they probably named random names to random location of these oceans. But it's cool to know that oceans and seas, just like land, have borders with each other. But the difference is that the borders on land is created by humans, and the borders in the seas and oceans are all natural. When you look at the border between the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean, you'll think that it's an invisible wall separating these two. An invisible wall that you cannot see. Why don't they mix? Why do they have different colors? We 100% know that there is no wall separating these two. But somehow, they're not mixing with each other. It's like they have different blood types. Water is usually mixed with each other. So what's stopping these? Differences. When there are differences, mixing is a lot harder. The difference between them is the density and the chemicals that make up the water. And you could also tell the difference with the color of the water. They're both water, but we have different types of water. The first difference is the amount of salt in those waters. The biggest difference between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans is the amount of salt in them. These invisible borders that had the oceans and seas separated had humans thinking for a while. They didn't know why it's like this until a French explorer by the name Jacques Cousteau went to the border of the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans with a submarine. Jacques Cousteau thought the borders was only visible on top of the water, but as he went down, he realized that until the bottom of the sea, there's a difference. When he did research, he realized that these two bodies of waters have different densities and the amount of salt is different. And that is why they don't accept each other. You could kind of do this at home. Get two cups and make two different types of salt water. One with a lot more and one with less. Then mix them in one cup. And you could clearly see the one with the more salt goes to the bottom and the less salt comes on top. And they also create a border with each other. In a cup, you could see up and down, but in the ocean is like east to west, north and south. If you remember in school, we learned that whichever liquid has more density sinks to the bottom. But you don't see that in the ocean. If it was like that, just like the cup, you would have to go down in the ocean to see the difference. But why doesn't this happen in the ocean? First, we have to know that the densities between ocean waters are not that big, meaning it's not that big of a difference for it to go up and down. Another reason that these don't mix is the rotation of the planet. Because these huge bodies of water are affected with the Earth's rotation. And the rotation has a huge influence on the bodies of water and how they flow. And it does something that between these waters, an invisible line or border is created. And this causes them to look different. If there were no different flows of water, they would for sure mix with each other. If they stand next to each other, they will eventually mix with each other. But the flow of the ocean doesn't give the body of water enough time to mix. As you guys know, there are different flows of water in the oceans and seas. If you see this map, you could see the current of the ocean. The most powerful current on the planet rotates around Antarctica. Most of the currents are underwater, not on top. If you've ever seen the Disney animation Finding Nemo, the turtles use these currents as transportation and move really fast in the ocean like that. Don't think that it's just the oceans that have different types of water. A lot of different places in the world you can find these borders in the waters. Like one of the cool differences is founded in the North Atlantic Ocean. 
a sea called Sargasso. Sargasso has created a border and has separated itself from the Atlantic. But here, it's not because of the salt water, but the Sargasso Sea is warmer than the ocean. And right here, it's because of temperature that's making a difference. Next place is the Baltic and Northern Sea. Density has created a wall between these waters. These two bodies of water hit each other and create foam in between them and create a border. Meaning, instead of mixing with each other, they keep slapping each other. Up next, we have the Mediterranean and Atlantic. These two bodies of water don't work with each other because of the flow and density. If you've ever seen the Bahamas, you know the water is different and it has a teal color. But the cool part is that this beautiful water is right next to the Atlantic Ocean. But there's a border in between them and they don't mix. And it's a cool thing because it makes the Bahamas beautiful. If there was no differences between the water of the Bahamas and Atlantic, the Bahamas would look like any other beach in the world, like a normal one. Since we're in the Bahamas, let's go a little bit south, to Uruguay, and to see the Uruguay River. The weird part about this ocean is that it passes through a clay-type soil and it turns orange. And it meets with normal river water, but it creates a border and doesn't want to look the same. And the normal water doesn't accept this orange water. Since we're here, let's go to north in the Amazon River where Rio Negro meets Salimos. Salimos is cloudy and Rio Negro is regular, but not mixing with each other has created a unique line between them. And this one also has different temperatures. Let's leave the South America and go to Europe. In Germany, there are two rivers, Rhine and Mosul, and they meet each other and fight for whoever is better and not mix with each other. Since we're in Germany, let's go see some other rivers. Here, there are three different rivers flowing into each other. Ilz, Danube, and Inn. And they have three different colors flowing into one waterway. But let's go closer to Asia. Ulba and Irtish River in Kazakhstan. Which they get to each other, but they don't mix with each other. Irtish is a huge river, and when it leaves Kazakhstan, it gets to Russia and meets Om River. In Russia, river Katun and Chuya don't mix, but Katun has more power and basically alphas out the river. But let's go check out Utah. Green and Colorado River. Green River has its name, it's green, and Colorado is brown. When they meet each other, they hardly mix. And the reason of these colors is the rocks that they pass. What do you guys think about these water borders in between the oceans and seas? There are a lot of places in the world that the waters don't mix well, but the coolest ones were the ones in the ocean. 